Marie and Alexa we've been using them at the Shaw Center because tonight we know who will be the next leader of the Conservative Party. And so I'm actually wondering what the people think about the race, but as well what how this night's gonna be. So we will talk to some of the people, supporter of the Conservative Party, to know their opinion on the night, but as well on the party. Let's check it out. What do you think about this night? How it's gonna be, you think? Honestly, I think this is gonna, I think this whole event is gonna change the course of Canadian history. We've never had more conservative members than ever. And yet, yet the last election we had somewhere between like 200, 300,000 members. Now we've doubled that. And I think that's a huge testament to how much our people want change. So tonight's going to be absolutely amazing. I get to hang out with the great journalists, Alexa Lavoie, Ezra Levant, uh, the fine people in the media in Canada. It's just a great time. It's a great time. Okay, so here's my prediction for the night. Pierre's going to come in first. Jean Jure is going to come in second. Leslin Lewis third. Um, Roman Baber fourth and uh, Scott Higgins last, I think. Well, I mean, I think it's uh, it's going to be a very interesting night. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the, how this leadership debate comes to a head. Uh, I'm really hopeful for uh, Pierre Polyev to come out as the front runner. I mean, he's my preferred candidate. Uh, but no matter what the result, I think that this is a, a result that a lot of Canada has been looking forward to seeing. And I'm so glad it's all coming to a head tonight. Well, it's going to be a fun night. Most likely, you know, it will be coronation for Pierre Palive. But, uh, you know, I think party will get united after this event. Mm -hmm. That's my hope. And what is your thought about all this race that happened? I mean, I think that all of these races, it's a very necessary thing to have happened here. I mean, there's been a, a lot of debate lately about our leadership and, I mean, the people in power and do they truly represent us. So I feel like this is going to be a really um, an interesting wake-up call to see, you know, exactly what, where people are going in terms of who they want to, to see represent them in the future. The race was very well, very fairly run. And uh, I think uh, it brought out a lot of good points within the party. Mm -hmm. And party is going to, you know, follow it up uh, for a long time for the next election. The whole race has been an adventure, to say the least. There's ne I don't think there's been as much as this much publicity about the conservative election in years, decades even. With the last uh, conservative elections, the only people who were really involved were people who had been into politics a long time. Now we have people like myself who are new into politics, or at least newer than compared to our veterans in politics. Um, and I, I, think it's, I think it's great. I think this race honestly was over a few months ago. Pierre has, has signed up hundreds of thousands more uh, new uh, uh, conservatives and all the other candidates combined. He had a really good message. He, uh, he started pushing against the mandates early and uh, the other ones were very late behind. So because he came out early with against the government, against the mandates, getting our freedoms back, that gave him a big advantage. And I think that really helped him get a lot of supporters and get a lot of fundraising done. And I think charisma makes all the difference, especially when you have people supporting you, um, especially young people, because a campaign runs on volunteers and you need people who are passionate about your cause to volunteer for you. They're working for you for free, right? And they really have to support what you're, what you're doing. And I think it's important that Pierre becomes the leader because I think Jean Charest wants to take this party in a direction that it shouldn't be going in. And I think Pierre kind of wants to keep it conservative. Well, in my opinion, Jean Charest really wants to move it to the left. And um, yeah. Who you support? I support, uh, honestly, I support Pierre, but like my, my heart says to support Roman. But, uh, you know, I voted for Pierre because I want to be Trudeau. Ladies and gentlemen, when Susie Hayes and I have some results. feel if it's not Poliev tonight? I mean, if it's not Poliev, uh, I mean, there's a, there are other candidates that I feel would also be fantastic in terms of the leadership debate, and I don't think Pierre Poliev is going to go away tomorrow uh, if he doesn't come through as leader uh, of this, uh, uh, in the outcome of this uh, debate. But I mean, you know, there will be other opportunities. I'm hopeful for the future of the Conservative Party either, either way, because I feel we've had a lot of strong candidates come forward. I think still the party should be remain united. You know, it doesn't matter who wins, I think the right person should win. 
whether it's Pierre or somebody else. You know, my favorite choice is Pierre, but it uh, doesn't matter, right? We'll still re remain conservatives. Um, if it's not Pierre Polyev, well, if it's Jean Charest, I can't support him. That's not an immediate no. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, I really like Pierre Polyev. I, I really support that. I really respect that he stand by, stood by his values. I find, like, Aaron O'Toole, he's really flip-flopped on issues. But Pierre Polyev, he's really stayed strong and firm on his beliefs, and he hasn't backed down, and that's something I really respect. Also, I find that Pierre Polyev really gets to try to know his constituents and what's important to Canadians at this time, and he really wants to fight inflation. He wants to lower the cost of living. He wants to end vaccine mandates and COVID restrictions. And that's something I very much support and can get behind. And I think many other Canadians like myself can too. Man, I don't know, man. Like, that's an interesting question, Alexa. Like, if Pierre Polyev does not win tonight, like, I think uh, we're going to see the implosion of uh, the party. It's over. I think that the PPC is going to see a large um, increase of members. I think uh, a, lo a lot of the base here in the Conservative Party will not vote in the next uh, federal election. I feel like uh, the CPC is going to be very irrelevant if Pierre does not win tonight. And uh, to be honest, if Jean Charest, uh, Alexa's favorite politician from Quebec, if he actually ends up winning this, you know, as the Trojan horse, as uh, the alleged Jerry Butts uh, Trojan horse. Uh, we'll see, we'll see if he, if he could get in. It's, uh, you know, I think it's a coup on Canada, to be honest, so. There's a vote in Nouveau Chef. We have a new leader. Premier Minister of Canada, the Honorable Pierre Pony. So now we know who is the new leader of the Conservative Party. But this is not finished. Do we will have a next election, but at the federal level? So if you want, please continue to follow us. And if you want to help us with our journalism, go to leadershipreport.ca, chip in generously and watch our report. Thanks.